YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Bubai, and welcome back to another player review on the channel. I hope you guys are having an incredible day. In today's video, man, we're gonna go ahead and check out a very special player and a very special card. It's none other than the Path to Glory Objective for Enzo Fernandez. Enzo Fernandez is a 95 rated card. He has high, high work rates, right footer with five star skill moves and five star weak foot. Now, I just wanna go ahead and start off by saying, ladies and gentlemen, this has probably been one of the sweatiest foot champs I've played in a really long time, but we finally managed to get the 12 wins. We don't see much versatility with the card as he can only play the center mid and center defensive mid positions but i think he's probably going to be best as a box-to-box -box center mid if we go ahead and look at his in-game stats in a bit more detail we can see that the card is very well rounded he is hooligan with the lowest stat being 88 for his shooting he does have 90 pace overall with 90 acceleration and 90 sprint speed pretty solid for a center mid i would highly recommend a chem style to make him even more quick in game the 88 shooting is going to be a really important stat as a box-to-box -box. now he does have really good attacking positioning at 95 but his finishing is lacking just a bit it's only 80 but he does have a whopping 99 shot power and 95 long shots i think that his long shots are going to be really important in game and i do expect them to be quite clinical the 95 passing and 94 dribbling two outstanding stats for the card i think you're going to be able to create so many chances with enzo fernandez he does have 99 for his vision short pass long pass and then also 94 curve man so his passing should be very accurate in game the 94 dribbling is a really important stat because you want him to be very quick and swift on the ball and he does have 91 agility 92 bounce 95 reactions and 98 ball control i mean with the five star skill moves him having a smaller build in game you can most definitely expect him to feel very smooth on the ball now as that box to box midfielder the 90 defending and 93 physical are going to be two huge parts to his game he does have 90 interceptions 92 defensive awareness and 92 stand tackle he does also have the anticipate play style plus man so defensively he should be rock solid especially when you go ahead and pair that with his 93 physical 99 stamina for a box to box it doesn't get much better than that and then he does also have 88 strength and 97 aggression so honestly you can go ahead and give the card the shadow camp style or maybe the anchor to help out with the strength and as you guys know with the path to glory cards they do have the potential of getting a few upgrades this enzo fernandez card can easily become like a 97 98 rated card now if we jump on over to footman boys we can see that enzo fernandez does have 10 different play styles he has the ping pass anticipate and relentless play style pluses and all three of the play style pluses that he does have are really effective for a box to box midfielder so that's really nice to see and then he does also have the power shot long ball pass slide tackle flare first touch press proven and trivella now he can have the controlled and controlled explosive acceleration types and when it comes to chem styles boys it's honestly going to come down to how you want to go ahead and incorporate him in game because we do plan on playing him as a box to box midfielder in today's video i would personally go ahead and recommend the shadow with the shadow chem style he is going to have the controlled acceleration type he is going to have 98 pace overall which is a fantastic upgrade and then most importantly we're also going to go ahead and bump up his defending he's going to have 96 defending overall with 98 interceptions 96 defensive awareness and 99 stance tackle with the anticipate play style plus man i do expect him to be very good defensively now if you want to go ahead and use him in a more advanced position you can potentially go ahead and give him the hunter now i don't see many people giving him the hunter chem style because i feel like he's more of a box to box rather than like a center attacking mid but it honestly just comes down to how you want to go ahead and use him and another chem style that i would go ahead and recommend is the anchor and the anchor is really good if you want to help out with the strength with the anchor he is going to have 94 pace overall 95 defending and then also a whopping 98 physical boys he's going to have 99 jumping 96 strength and 99 aggression so you can most definitely expect him to be very strong both on and off the ball and something that I find really interesting, boys, if we go ahead and look at this little chart right here with the shadow chem style, he does become a 98 rated center defensive mid or a 97 rated center mid. That's going to be very interesting to test out in today's video. As always, boys, if you guys do enjoy these FC24 player reviews, go ahead and do me a huge favor. If you guys can, leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. It would be greatly appreciated. This is the team we're going to be using in Division Rivals to test out the new Enzo card. We're going to be playing him at the center mid position as that box to box midfielder in the 4 3 2 1 formation. So without further ado boys let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is all right boys here we are jumping into game number one of division rivals testing out the new enzo fernandez card man and i must say i'm actually really excited to test them out for you guys that don't know in order to obtain the card you do have to win 12 games of the foot champions finals using a full england team so that's i mean it's, it's quite sweaty man i can't lie but the plan is to go ahead and use him as a box-to-box -box midfielder in the 4-3-2-1 formation. First things first, let's go ahead and test out the card's dribbling. Now, the dribbling overall, he does have some really nice stats. And with the average and normal body type, yeah, man, he is quite quick and swift on the ball. The left stick dribbling is going to be really important. Havertz, a little bit of space out wide. I do want to test out Enzo Fernandez's passing. His passing and his dribbling are probably going to be two really important stats. Enzo, good attacking positioning right there. We'll go ahead and play to Havertz. Honestly, boys, with the pink pass play style plus, I expect this passing to be really accurate, man. And that's a really good assist. Now, as that box to box midfielder, obviously, we want him to go ahead and break up the play, but we also want him to create a lot of chances. Anticipate play style plus, so so OP. Enzo. 
little step over right there. That's nice. The acceleration with the Shadow Camp style does seem to be really good. We're going to go ahead and reverse it back to him. And so, good touch. Does have the power shot play style. You know what, man? It's a decent attempt. I really like the attacking positioning. The long shot maybe could have been a little bit better, but my aim could have been better as well. Mabasaka. Olise. Nice. Enzo. Got a little bit of space right here. R1 dribbling. He doesn't have the technical play style, but we'll still give it a try. Ball roll Trivella. It's a decent attempt, man. Like I said, I do think that his long shots are going to be really important. I'm going to go ahead and signal Enzo to make that run with his really high attacking positioning. One more. Oh, boys, good attacking positioning. I'm going to go finesse on your post. It's the wrong shot choice right there. Really good attacking positioning. Maybe you can feel the lower finishing. But honestly, boys, I probably should just hit it back post. I thought he was going to move his goalkeeper. Left stick dribbling. He's not really stepping with anyone. Just doing some AI defending. Enzo, smooth. Touch. Into a power shot. Enzo Fernandez. I mean, we missed, but we did win a penalty. So I'm going to go ahead and give him the penalty, I guess. Enzo Fernandez, 84 pence. Not too bad. We'll go, we'll go top left. I mean, I guess we'll take it, boys. It's not it's not a great goal, but we'll take it. Now, I'm pretty sure my opponent, yeah, he's making a few changes. We're just going to go ahead and play a short. Enzo, power shot. He does have the power shot play style, boys. It's a lovely attempt. I'm pretty sure he has 99 long shots as well. We're going to get the lucky rebound, so we'll take it. All right, it's good hold up play right here. Enzo's making that run. Alawiren, play through. Maybe test out his sprint speed a little bit with the shadow. Yeah, boys, he's pretty quick. I'm going to go for a Trivella right here. Good finish, man. Very clinical as well, even without like a chem style to help out with his finishing. He does get into really good areas. And going forward, he's been really consistent. I might just try to go for like a long ball right here. At least he's making the run. Oh, no way, boys. No way, no way, no way. That's crazy, boys. That long ball right there from, from Enzo Fernandez is just too good, man. You can't defend against it. And again, his passing has been really consistent. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number two. And so far, so good. Honestly, if you do have time to grind for champions this weekend, I would highly recommend it because you're getting a phenomenal, phenomenal player with a lot of potential. But yeah, man, let's see if we can get off to a good start in game number two. Very early on, I just want to maybe test out his dribbling a little bit more. Yeah, boys, he's smooth, man. The change of pace right there is incredible. Go for a through ball into Elise. Oh, at least hey, we got to show a little bit more strength. Now, the one thing that I really like, if you go ahead and use them in like the 4-3-2-1 formation, I feel like a lot of the times, like your opponent won't track that run from the center mid position. And that's honestly where Enzo thrives. Right here, I'm just going to maybe try to run down the byline. Enzo, man, very quick. The cutback. Skip that, boys. Let's just go ahead and skip that. But again, the pace is really good. It's very difficult to catch up to him. I feel like the card does lack a little bit of like play styles when it comes to like maybe having like the rapid or the quick step. But other than that, man, very effective. Nice from Akanji. Elise. I honestly think, boys, if you run a if you run the 4-2-3-1 formation, you can maybe even play him as a center attacking mid. Again, Enzo, good attacking positioning. The cutback is nice as well. Alawiren's going to find the back of the net, man. The passing has probably been the standout stat so far. I think that the only thing that the card is lacking at the moment defensively is the fact that he doesn't have the intercept. Other than that, man, it's been great. All right, man. Conquan collected. We needed another goal in this game. Enzo, good attacking positioning. Fake shot. Left stick dribbling. Nice. Five-star skill moves. Near your post. It's probably the wrong shot choice right there, man. But I will say the dribbling in and around the box has just been so good. Try to incorporate our fullbacks a little bit more. Enzo Fernandez, nice. Alawiren through the middle. Yeah, boys. Even like right there, I feel like you shouldn't have gotten the interception. But I guess you can say Enzo Fernandez's passing is just that accurate as a playmaker has been incredible. Might look for the cutback. Yep. Enzo. Nice. Good interception, man. I love the defensive awareness on the card, man. He, he really like sticks his position, which is nice. Alawiren over the top. Carlos might win the header. No, Enzo wins the header. Okay, man. Like I said, the physical side of this game has been really good. I'm going to go Trivella near post. It's a good finish, man. Good finish. Enzo again. Great physical side to his game. All right, boys. Here we are jumping into our final game using Enzo Fernandez. And I think it's safe to say, man, WW objective card. Now, right here, we're just going to go ahead and track back a little bit. In the tackle, he's just been so consistent, man, with the anticipate play style plus. Now, right here, we can go ahead and spring into like a little bit of an attack. Five-star weak foot. Get the rebound. Okay, boys. So that's a decent attempt right there. Xavi Simons. That's a good ball. Olise. Enzo through the middle. Touch. Into a power shot. Enzo Fernandez, it's a decent attempt, man. His finishing does lack a little bit. I mean, for the most part, he has been quite clinical, but it can most definitely be a little bit better. Bro, I've never seen someone use Etienne Capu as a center back. That's so interesting. Chavi Simons, nice. Fernandez and a little bit of space. Touch. Nice little turn. Five-star weak foot. Has to be a goal, man. Has to be a goal. That is a fantastic finish. The one thing that I really like is like how he took that touch into his stride. Perfect. Enzo Fernandez, five-star weak foot over the top through ball. Yeah, man, the passing has just been so good. So, so good. Kai Havertz in a little bit of space. I'm going to look for the cutback. Simmons, step over. Finish. 
Oh, boys. Okay, yeah. We're going to find the back of the net, man. Again, Enzo Fernandez pulling the strings. I think that his over-the-top through balls are some of the best currently in FC24. Really, really effective. Oh, he's played it quickly. Enzo, that's a lovely tackle. Finesse shot, finish. Olise! We'll take it, boys. We'll take it. That's such a scrappy goal, man. Enzo with a really good tackle or a really good interception. Got time for another attack, man. Enzo carrying the ball forward. Good sprint speed again. It's a really good ball into Ala Wyron. Cut back. Chabi Simons finish. It's a lovely team play, man. Again, Enzo Fernandez just picks up the ball into really good areas. And I feel like as a ball carrier, you can get away from a lot of different midfielders to create a lot of chances. He isn't necessarily going to get the assist every time, but he's going to get like the assist for the assist, if that makes sense. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new Enzo Fernandez Path to Glory card in a few games of Division Rivals. And to be completely honest, man, a fantastic box-to-box -box midfielder. I'm going to go ahead and say it. This is by far the best objective card we got in all year in FC24. There's just so much potential with the card. Now, if we go ahead and dissect his in-game stats in a bit more detail, so we did go ahead and give him the shadow chem style so he does have 98 pace overall and in game he was very quick now the 88 shooting was a really interesting stat i do think that his shot power and long shots are really good but the finishing in and around the box is a tad bit inconsistent now if you do want to go ahead and use him in a more advanced position you can most definitely go ahead and give him a chem style to help out with the finishing but i think if you just go ahead and use him as a box to box it isn't that big of a problem the 95 passing and 94 dribbling two incredible stats for the card i do think that his passing in game with the pink pass play style plus is some of the best currently in fc24 I just feel like that you can create so many chances with him, especially if you go ahead and pair that with this 94 dribbling, 91 agility, 92 balance, 95 reactions, 98 ball control. The left stick dribbling was incredible. And then he does also have five-star skill moves, which is great. Now, as that box-to-box -box midfielder, we did go ahead and give him the shadow chem style. So he does have 98 interceptions, 96 defensive awareness, and 99 stand tackle. With the anticipate play style plus, man, he is very good defensively. I think that the only thing that he lacks is maybe like the intercept play style. But other than that, man, great defending. And then the 93 physical, a huge part to his game and he is very strong both on and off the ball and then he does have 99 stamina so he can easily last like a full 120 minutes overall boys i'm gonna go ahead and give the card a 9.5 out of 10 rating i really enjoyed using him as a box to box midfielder in the 4-3-2-1 formation like i said man there's so much potential with the card he can easily become like a 97 98 rated center mid with an extra play style plus if you guys do have the time to grind foot champions this week i would highly recommend that you guys go ahead and try to complete the objective because you're basically getting an end game card if he can get a few upgrades if i had to compare him with another box to box midfielder i feel like he's very similar to McAllister, the new 96 rated card so if you do prefer midfielders with that type of build that are very well rounded that can do everything really well in game i would highly recommend this enzo fernandez card but that is going to be the end of today's video if you guys did enjoy it let me know by leaving a like comment down below what player you guys would like to see next and another player review and then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video i've been your boy Bubai, and i'll catch you guys and another one very very soon peace